Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have four neutral Dollar Tree DIYs. And for this first one, I have this happy Hanukkah frame. And I'm just taking a sanding block from Dollar Tree and sanding off the glitter that is on the front of it. And then I paint it with some ivory Waverly chalk paint and I end up giving it four coats. And then I put some Waverly antique wax around the outside of the frame. And I love how if you just paint this on some like light paint, it looks like actual wood. I don't know what the name for it is, but it's the one of the paint brushes where the bristles are a bit stiffer and the ends are not like the ends, the the hairs are all different lengths. So I use that those kind of brushes for dry brushing, but it makes it look like wood grain when you use it with the antique wax. And this was from a Dollar Tree hat and you know the summer hats and I just pulled it apart, which I'll show you later in the video. But this was uh one of the scraps that was left, so I'm just putting it around the outside with some hot glue. And then I have these wall stickers from Dollar Tree and I bought them because I love that sun and moon. So I'm just going to stick that on the front. And that's it finished, it was really easy this one. And I love how this turned out. Let me know what you think down below and which one of these DIYs is your favourite. And I have to find some, well think of some other ideas for the rest of those stickers. So I have six of these uh, diamond mirrors from Dollar Tree and I just screw off the backs. And I won't show you me doing them all. And then I take all the backs off and the mirrors out but be careful with these because the mirrors are really sharp. Then I paint the frames with some ivory waverly chalk paint and then I arrange them like this. So you I'm going to glue these together after I put all the pieces back in but looking back at the video you could you'd probably be better off gluing them together before you put the backs on because you could use those clips to hold it together. And then I use some gem tack glue because I ran out of hot glue. And it worked fine. So I just did that for all the sides and then, well I just hadn't run out of hot glue at that point but I knew I was going to run out of it <laughs> and I needed it for the back so I'm just gluing down some craft sticks and I'm gluing them over all the joins to make sure that they don't fall apart. Oh yeah, just keep, oh that did run out of hot glue there so I just used the gem tack and that worked fine as well. I just put plenty of it on. And you can use foam board for this part or you can use the wood that I'm going to show you in the next clip but I only had two pieces on it so I'm using the craft sticks. So you have these two planks from Dollar Tree and five tumbling tower blocks and then I'm using some of the super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue the tower blocks along the bottom edge of one of these planks. And then once that sets, after I've glued them down and leave them to set, just make sure you wipe off any extra glue that seeps out. And then I'm just going to glue on the other blank and make it into a little shelf.
and just using some extra tarot blocks to prop it up so that it will be straight when it dries and then I stain it with some Waverly Antique Wax and you could fit three of those planks on the back if you wanted to make it really strong but this actually held up fine when I put it on the wall and I just hung it up with the hooks that were that are already on the back of the frames and I'm just gluing down some of these craft sticks with some hot glue and I'm doing this so that I can put some wood glue on those craft sticks to glue the wooden shelf to and I'm just using the super glue wood glue again and then on the back I just added some extra hot glue along the back edge And then I glued on the succulents to cover up the joins. Oh, I forgot to mention that on the front, I put some more gem tack in the gaps along where the frames join, and then I painted over it. And then here, I had to cover it up because you, <laughs> you could see me in it. Um, yeah, I just got some of the thicker nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I hot glue it all around the outside and then once that had dried I turned it around and I hot glued um, the back of the rope where it joins to the frame <laughs> So I did it all around the frame and then I did it around the front of the shelf. And you can always use the brown rope if you like or paint the frames a different colour. You don't have to do the same thing that I did. And I finished gluing on the nautical rope off camera. And I think it turned out so beautiful. It, I've got it hanging on the wall now, but I had to rest it like this so that my son could hold up the cardboard in the background so you wouldn't see all my Halloween DIYs on the wall. <laughs> and uh, it hung, hangs fine um, with the hooks that were already on it. So I got this wee wooden llama box at Dollar Tree and I'm just giving it a quick sand with a sanding block and it doesn't really matter what pattern is on the front because we're going to cover it up and you could put some wood filler in it if you wanted to and I just stained the whole thing with some Waverly Antique Wax and then I had some scraps of this ribbon that I found when I was tidying up my craft room so I'm just going to hot glue that along the edge of the lid and I wanted there's this burlap river, river, <laughs> ribbon in Dollar Tree and it's got like cream circles on it, see everybody using it, why do you think I can find that one? <laughs> no, and that's the one I wanted for this DIY, so I have to make two of this, but it still turned out pretty. And then I just hot glued a succulent and some greenery and just trimming it down here to fit all around it. I did want to cover the entire top with little succulents but it didn't look right so I decided to go with this and then I just keep hot gluing the greenery around until I'm happy with how it looks. So it wasn't quite the idea that I had in my head but I think it still turned out cute. Let me know what you guys think. This last year why it was more complicated. So I have this mirror from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take off the back and take the mirror out. I have six plungers from Dollar Tree and we're not going to use the rubber part. I'm just going to use the wooden part and they are not all the same length so I'm going to cut them down with my wee saw and there's a link for the saw in the description box and some of these were really hard to cut and some of them were quite easier and then the other part of the, the rubber part of the plunger I have a whole video on what you can do with those so I'll link that down below as well. Yeah just measure them to, all to the same length 
two of mine ended up being a little bit too short. <laughs> but you don't notice once it's all put together. And I'm just cutting off the round tops. And that, that dark one was quite hard to cut, the other ones weren't too bad. And then I'm going to stain everything with the Waverly Antique Wax. But the frame for the mirror, uh, yeah that was a waste of time. Because <laughs> I ended up covering it up because I changed my mind. And this is what it looks like after it's been stained. You can leave it like this if you want, or you could paint it a different colour. I have one of these hats from Dollar Tree, and on the what's left of another hat <laughs> that I had already used. So to pull it apart is really easy. You just take the ribbon off, and then I took off um, the hot glue that had stuck the ribbon in place. There was only a wee bit of that. And then all you do is take one end and you just pull it off, it's so easy. And just comes apart so easy. And then I cut the tag off. And then make sure that you pull out the clear like plastic thread that's holding was holding it all together. Um it came off already for this first um, part that I'm doing and I only glued the top and then I just wrapped it around once I got it in, the, in place and I just wrapped it around really tight so when I got to the first the extra thread wasn't in when I was wrapping it around and I didn't realize when I got to the bottom but if you forget it's easy just to pull out because you only glued it at the top and the bottom and I just made sure that they were pushed up against each other and I just kept wrapping around and then hot glued it at the bottom and see how there's like a screw cut out at the bottom of these? I wish they made stuff in Crafter Square They're like a whole pole that length with the that design on it because I could think of so many things I could do with it. <laughs> so yeah, just trim off the top and then hot glue it down and then I do the rest off camera. And then I have some super glue wood glue and I'm just going to put half of that and half hot glue on the end and then glue it to the smaller piece of wood. So I just glue all those down and then this was a bit of a nightmare to <laughs> get it stuck down to the other piece but I got there eventually. So if you have an easier way to do it then yeah I would do that. <laughs> but I needed to glue it in place before the, all the glue on the top set and I was going to glue it to the middle part and glue it to that first but then I thought it would be easier this way so I don't know <laughs> anyway I used some gem tack glue um because it's going to be on the mirror if you have like E6000 or something use that but I don't have any and then I just put some of that in each corner and then I put some hot glue on the frame part and then I had to keep holding them because they kept coming off keep holding them in place because obviously the top wood is smaller than this so yeah I had to just keep pulling them out and hot gluing them until they eventually stuck but because it didn't look good anymore at the bottom, you could see the hot glue and stuff because I had to put a lot on. I decided to cover it with some nautical rope and I didn't film this part, I thought it was filming and it didn't. But all I did was I used a thick row of nautical rope along the top edge of the frame on the bottom and I hot glued it to the ropes as well 
I didn't like how the mirror was looking so I made this little piece look like wood and then I ended up adding more nautical rope to the top, that's the thinner one and then I added another thicker piece at the very bottom and then a thinner piece in the middle at the bottom and then I put in a wee candle and some greenery and I think it turned out beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.